Today is my first day of trying like white freckles on because I realised I had a white eyeliner that I could like use with a brush and like speckle on so I wanted to show them to you. You can just about see them. Please ignore the rest of my makeup. I'm adorable. For this video I wanted to set myself a little challenge because I'm the kind of person who has a tendency to procrastinate on projects and take a long time to even start them let alone finish them. But I have discovered that I work really well if I'm under pressure. And that doesn't have to be from an external source. I found if I set myself a time limit of how long I have to complete a task, say 24 hours to complete a project, I think I can do it. So that is what this video is. I'm going to try and complete a project within 24 hours. A dress in a day if you will. But before I start the project, if you do like this video, remember to hit the subscribe button down below and make sure the bell notification button is turned on. That way you get a notification every time I upload a new video. But that's enough rambling for me. You want to see the dress being made, so roll the intro. So the first thing I like to do when I'm making something, once my fabric is lied out and the two edges are next to each other when I folded it, is pin those edges together. Because I found that it stops the two pieces of fabric from moving too much and prevents me from getting like twisted, weird shaped pattern pieces when I cut them out from the underlayer. To make sure that doesn't happen, I pin the edges together to hold them in place. So the skirt I had decided to make was a, a gathered skirt, so it's a rectangle of fabric that you gather at the top to fit your waist, so then it's still got a lot of volume, but it's easier to cut out of fabric because you're not trying to cut out an entire circle from one piece of fabric. So once I had measured the length that I wanted the skirt and I had measured my waist, I took my measuring tape and laid it on the fabric to measure how high up the fabric I needed to cut it. Then because I'm making a pinafore, I cut out two panels that I'd sort of measured how big I kind of wanted it. Then I decided I didn't want to do a back panel, I wanted to do crossed straps. So I just measured how thick I thought they needed to be and how long they would need to be and cut out four pieces of fabric that were that length and that width. I did a similar thing for the waistband as well, so just measuring how thick I wanted the waistband and cutting out two pieces that were that thickness. I also cut out a piece of stiffening I forgot what it's called. It's not. Interfacing! I cut out a piece of interfacing that was the same size so that the waistband would be a bit stiffer and it would sort of hold its form a bit better. Then what I did is sewed one side of the skirt together so that it was all one continuous piece. Then I took a needle and thread and stitched along the top of the skirt so that it was a loose stitching line so that I could use that to gather up the fabric a little bit easier. And then I spent far too long trying to perfect the gathering. When I was doing the gathering as well, I tried to use a historical technique that I've seen Bernadette Banner use, where you like stroke the fabric with a pin to try and get it to lie smoothly, which did work. I didn't do it the entire time because I just did not have the patience or the time because I only had 24 hours. I did try to do a little bit of it and it did work. So if you have the time to be able to do that, I would definitely recommend doing that. So once I had made the skirt, I put it on the dress model that I have to just check that everything was fine and everything looked okay. And I sort of pinned the pieces that were gonna be the front flap and the strap. Once I had sort of put it up on a figure and seen what it would look like on a person, I worked out how much sort of seam allowance I needed to use to make it the size that it actually needed to be and how much 
bigger it was than it necessarily should have been. Then I started sewing the other pieces together. And by this point it was about 10 past quarter past six. So I had been going for probably about eight hours, about a third of the way through. Was it a third? Is that a third? Yeah. 24 hours divided by three is eight. Yeah. I did good math. Yay. When I cut out the straps, I cut out four pieces. The idea was that I would sew two pieces together and then flip it over. When I actually came to make the straps, I realized the pieces I had cut were far too thick. What I ended up doing was just folding it in half, pinning it together, alternating each side so that it was all pinned as one piece. And then I sewed both sides and cut down the little seam allowance that was on one side and turned it inside out. The front bib flap bit was a lot easier because I just literally pinned that as a square, sewed round it, then cut diagonally across the corners to prevent there from being any bulking and flipped it inside out. So at this point, it was about 10 p.m. I'd been going for about 12 hours and I decided that I was gonna finish all the machine sewing for the day and do hand sewing in the evening whilst I hang out with David. I left the mannequin with the skirt on it so the, the fabric could fall and hang and work out where I needed to be before I hemmed it the following day. And I just sat whilst watching the terrible, terrible Suicide Squad and sewed on the buttons to the bib and made the buttonholes. And then I went to bed because I'd pretty much done as much as I could during that day and I knew I had until 10 a.m. the following morning. So I decided to get up early on the Sunday and finish it. The following morning was basically just finishing off. So it was hemming the skirt, finishing off any of the hand sewing that I couldn't finish the night before and sewing it all together. I knew I wanted to make it a convertible dress so I wanted to have the straps removable and potentially the bib removable. That was a decision I waited until the very end to make so that it could like change from a skirt to a dress. So I did this by attaching the straps with poppers on the back and buttons on the front and the bib I did end up sewing to the skirt so I just sewed it along the bottom so it could flip under if I wanted to wear it as a skirt. And I did it! By 10 a.m. the following morning, I had completed a dress slash skirt and I was very proud of myself. So I suppose all that's left to do now is actually see what it looks like. And because it's a very cottage core, little country girl vibe kind of dress, um, what more perfect way to show it off than to frolic in some fields? Here you go. Okay, so um, slight change of plan. I couldn't find a field, so I'm gonna frolic in a forest instead. Yay! I think this project went really well. I think I'm gonna try and do it again maybe and slowly up the difficulty of the projects to see how much I can do in a day. There are a few things that I would like to sort of adapt about the end product of the dress. Um, I think the waistband I made was too thick. So I think I'm probably gonna go back and half the thickness of that so it's a bit more wearable. And I need to line the uh, enclosure because it's a bit bigger than I planned to. So you can sort of see it, the gap when I move around, which is not what I anticipated. But the functional garment is made. There's just some like aesthetic choices that I need to adapt to make it perfect. But in my thought process for this video, I thought nobody's really gonna care what I think of what I made because I made it. So of course I'm gonna be happy with it. I wouldn't have made it otherwise. So on my Discord server, the link's in the description if you wanna join. I thought I would send a few pictures and get people to send reviews in. The first person I showed it to is my grandma. Obviously I did that over the phone because bless her heart, she doesn't know how to use Facebook. And her review from what I remember of it was uh, that it was very Sound of Music, which I'm happy with. My mum said, looks fab, ready for beer fest. And then we're gonna go over to the Discord where... <laughs> Oh my god, I love the sound of music and the beast. This is very Gretel gets caught by the witch, but she's a bad bitch and you can't kill her. 
On a serious note, it's very nice. The high waist does well to extend the perception of the legs and height, whilst the panel accentuates the chest while pulling in the waist with the light and dark contrast. My only issue is a personal one that I wish it was a tiny bit shorter, though that must, may just be the angle of the photo. I'm not a fan of skirts that cut halfway down the shin, and I like something just above the knee with, with which which fit well with the light and airy fairy tale meets folk feel. Personally, I've been wearing a lot of skirts. They're a bit longer at the moment. It makes me feel a little bit more grown up. So that's why I went for the long length and I do really like it. I'm really happy with the reviews. I'm very proud of myself. I think I did very well at this. So uh, let me know what you thought in the comments of the dress or the video uh, or anything really. If you want to subscribe to my channel, that would be great. The button's just down there. Hopefully I'll be making more videos like this in the future. I have one planned for October, which is going to be stressful. And make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Any engagement really would do wonders for my little channel here. So that would be very helpful. I hope you are having a wonderful day, whatever you are doing. And I hope that you are happy and safe and bye. Love the dine, Edward. You love the rain, Edward. No, I will not die of any congenital heart disease, Edward. Mushroom! <laughs> it means you lived a life of sin. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> Wait, Willow, where are you going? Hold on, how the fuck do I zoom? Hold on, that means... I have zoomed... Willow, come hold the dog and frolic. Give me a minute. Give, give, give. Well, that shot's staying in.